Okay guys, welcome back to another example for undetermined coefficients. So this is the third common type of non-homogeneous equations that we will see that can be solved using undetermined coefficients. So first we had the polynomials, then we had the cosine, sine, trig functions, and then now we have exponentials. So these are the three main types that undetermined coefficients can be used to solve a non-homogeneous equation. And again, the reason for that is that a list of all the terms in the derivatives, as you continually take derivatives of it, can be represented with a nice, finite, particular form. So let's go ahead and work through this example now. So all right, step one, find the homogeneous equation. So the homogeneous equation satisfies this equals zero. And once again, we are pros at this. Let's just solve it. Okay, so we have repeated roots. R is equal to one half and R is equal to one half. So let's just go straight into the solution now. We know that the solution is going to be of the form C1 e to the one half t plus C2 times t e to the one half t. And this is our homogeneous solution. Okay, so step two, let's determine the particular form. So we have two e to the negative t minus one half e to the four t. So exponentials, and the nice thing about exponentials is that their derivatives are derivatives of themselves. So if we take the derivative of this, we get negative two e to the negative t, and then two e to the negative t, and then it just changes signs all the way as we um, differentiate it. And then this guy right here does something similar. We get minus two e to the four t, and then minus eight e to the four t, and so on and so on. So this list of all of the terms and the derivatives can be represented in a nice compact form a times e to the negative t plus b times e to the 4t. So this will be our particular solution form that we assume. And of course we must check that each term in the particular solution is linearly independent with each term in the homogeneous solution. So we have an e to the negative t and an e to the 1 half t and a t e to the 1 half t. So yes, this guy is linearly independent with both of these guys, and same thing for the e to the 4t. So we are fine. And because they are linearly independent, we can continue without having to do another step. And we will get to an example where we encounter that, but uh, not in this video, probably next video. So let's go ahead and move on to step three, where we determine our undetermined coefficients. So yp prime is equal to negative a e to the negative t, and then plus, 4be to the 4t. Okay, so that's yp prime. Let's go ahead and differentiate it one more time. So we get ae to the negative t plus 16be to the 4t. Okay, so we have yp, yp prime, yp double prime. Let's go ahead and throw this into our differential equation. So starting with y double prime, we have ae to the negative t plus 16be to the 4t, and then minus a y prime. So minus a negative a e to the negative t, so that becomes a plus a e to the negative t, and then a minus 4b e to the 4t. And then we have a minus 1 fourth times y. So minus a over 4 e to the negative t minus b over 4 e to the 4t. And all this has to equal the right hand side of our differential equation, the non homogeneous part, so 2 e to the negative t minus one half e to the 4t. So let's go ahead and do some simplifications. And the first thing let's do is let's get the e to the negative t components together. So we have an a plus another a and then minus a one fourth times a, all e to the negative t. And now let's go ahead and get together the e to the 4t's. So here we have 16b minus 4b and then minus one fourth times b and all that times e to the four times t. And this has to equal, again, the right hand side, so two e to the negative t minus one half e to the four t. So we get two equations out of this. First, we equate this guy with the coefficient on the right hand side of the e to the negative t. And then we equate this guy with the coefficient on the e to the four t. 
So we have 2a minus 1 fourth a has to equal 2. And then we have 12b minus 1 fourth b has to equal negative 1 half. So this is 8 fourths minus 1 fourth, so 7 fourths a is equal to 2, which gives us a is equal to 8 over 7. And this gives us 48 fourths minus 1, so 47 fourths b is equal to negative 1 half which gives us b is equal to negative 7 over 94. Okay, so we have officially determined our undetermined coefficients, and now we can throw it all together for our general solution form. So it's the homogeneous solution, this guy, plus the particular solution, this guy, with the coefficient substituted in. So we have c1 e to the 1 half t plus c2 times t e to the 1 half t and then plus a particular part, so plus eight over seven e to the negative t minus seven over 94 e to the four times t. So this is the general solution to our differential equation up here. So now that we're getting a hang of this, in the next video we are going to take a look at some more complicated non-homogeneous parts and we're going to try to figure out their particular solution forms. And we're also going to take a look at what happens when a term in the particular solution is linearly dependent with a term in the homogeneous solution. So that's in the next video, and thanks for watching. See you guys later.